All right, welcome to my Walking Dead bundle review and gameplay video. So as you can see, the bundle is called Survivors in Arms, and you get basically six items, two skins, two back blings, and two pickaxes. So the price for this is 2,500 V-Bucks, 2,500 V-Bucks. Even though it says 36 there, that's not true. You get a little bit of a discount. In fact, I got gifted Daryl, and these are both 1,800 a piece. So if you get gifted one of the skins, then the bundle turns to 700 V-Bucks. So that's pretty sweet as well. Now, of course, I'm a huge, huge Walking Dead fan. I've seen every single episode from day one. I didn't hop on the bandwagon. I watched from the very start, and I love it. But this show is just so brilliant. I recommend everyone watch it if you haven't yet. Now, of course, two of the most popular characters are Michonne and Daryl. And they do them pretty good justice here. But we'll do the full review in the locker, and then I'll show some gameplay. Let's take a look. All right, so first up is Michonne. It says, Facing Evil Brings Good People Together with Selectable Styles. So I think they did fairly respectable here on the face. You know how hard it is to transfer an actual person's face into a video game and make it look somewhat decent? I think they did a good job. That definitely looks like Michonne. It's got her dreadlocks there. So everything about this skin basically mimics that of the actual show, The Walking Dead. And there's her beloved sword, which she's chopped off so many zombie heads and some people too in the show. If you're a fan of the show and Michonne, you probably would want to buy this. Now, one of the highlights of these skins is that you can have a cloaked version. So it basically comes with a cloak or a cape. And in addition, whatever back bling you have will go over it, which is very unique. And I believe that's the first time we've ever had that in Fortnite. But like I said, I could put absolutely any back bling. Let's do the Black Knight shield. And then we go over here to the cloaked version, and it should show up over there. Yes, it does. How awesome is that? So next up is Daryl. And again, they did pretty good on the face. He's even got his scar above his eye there. And his back bling, I don't know, that's a little lackluster. He never used a quiver like that in the show. I mean, I guess he does pull arrows out sometimes with his crossbow. But I don't remember it looking all scallywaggy like that. That's a, just a weird looking back bling. Obviously, it's a reference to his crossbow, which he loves in the show. And then he also uses the awesome knives. And I'm wondering if those actually pull out. That would be sweet because his pickaxes are those knives. So we'll have to take a look at that. I'm not sure why he's all hunched over. So Daryl is very, very small in the show. He's one of the smallest characters. I can't remember if he's taller than Glenn or not, but he's pretty small. But he sure is intimidating and one of the fan favorites on the show, considering he wasn't even in the comics. Great skin. I'm glad they brought him. This looks pretty good. Now, just like Michonne, he also has a cape called Desperado Daryl. And I'm not sure why it's wigging out down there. But in the show, he does wear this. This is basically his little Clint Eastwood reference. I love this. And again, just like Michonne, any back bling you equip will go right on the outside of that. All right, let's land somewhere secluded and we'll take a look at Mr. Daryl Dixon. All right, so let me stand out here in the open. We'll take a peek. So he looks... Pretty decent. I mean, from the back, that definitely looks like Daryl. He's got that shaggy hair, very weathered look and appearance. The back bling, like I said, I don't know. I'm not feeling that back bling. You can see the knives in his sheaths there. That's pretty sweet. All right, moment of truth. Let's see if they interact with the pickaxes. Holy smokes, they do. Look at that. They come right out of there. That is beautiful. I love that. Let's see if there's any contrail. Wow, so there's no contrail at all. Like, not even any. Let me go inside in the shade real quick. I guess you got a little white line there, but that's nothing to write home about. And of course, there was no splash effect. But you wouldn't expect much pizzazz from these skins. There's nothing animated. There's nothing glowing on them. Let's spin them around to see the full effect. Boy, okay, that looks like Daryl. In-game, he looks much, much more like Daryl. Just that quick glimpse right there as he spins around... That looks identical to how he looks in the show. If you're a Walking Dead fan, this is a phenomenal skin, I must say. Now, what I don't see is a way to transform. I swear it said he had a built-in emote. Did I read it wrong? I thought it said if you use the built-in emote, he would wear the cape. Maybe I totally misread that and you just have to equip the cape version. If so, that's a little disappointing. I thought you could just whip out that cape version. Bummer. I'm going to have to go back and read that. But the highlight here is definitely the pickaxes interacting with the skin itself. Not even the back bling, but the skin. 
Okay, I did misread. It says outfit styles include a built-in cape. So it's not a built-in emote that displays the cape. It's literally just the secondary style. Boy, did I fail on that one. Well, let's equip that. Hopefully it doesn't spaz out like that in-game. Let's go take a peek. So as you can see, the cape does not replace your back bling, just like it said. Any back bling that you equip will appear on the outside, which is really, really cool. Hey, it's me, Daryl. Let me in. No. So the portal does not change at all since they arrived. So, as you can see, this cape version does give a little bit of color. I mean, granted, it's gray, white, and a light gray, but compared to the other style, it does give a little bit of flair. Now, the drawback here is that you kind of can't see the knives very well. So with the first style, you could definitely see the knives in your sheath at the side. But look, you can only see the one on the right. The one on the left is completely hidden by the cape. So I guess it's a trade-off. If you want to see yourself pull those knives out, don't run this cape. But if you don't, or you don't really care, then go ahead and run it. Let's see if Daryl is as sneaky as he is in The Walking Dead. Look at this. I'm creeping right by these guys, and they don't even notice me. Pay to win. Just kidding. Pay to lose. Pay to lose. These guys are so OP. I mean, they have so much health. I guess their aim is as bad as the stormtroopers, though. Let's see how Daryl uses this new weapon. Are these bots? Look at this. I think these are bots. They're both bots. What the? Is this thing hit scan? Holy crap, I missed like 9 out of 10 shots there. Oh, wow. Didn't miss that time. All right, so I'm checking out Michonne next without the cape. I don't know what's going on with my internet, but I can't even complete any of these matches because I'm lagging so badly. So we're just going to focus on the review. So as you can see, again, just like Daryl, from behind, it looks identical to The Walking Dead show. She has a little more flair to her since she does have a pink shirt underneath, so that brings out a little bit of color there. I like that. Let's spin her around real quick. So of the two, I think Daryl's face looks much more like Daryl from the show. Michonne's face is a little, I don't know how to say it, cartoony, I guess? But like I said at the beginning, it's hard to replicate a human face from a live TV show or movie in a video game. So I have a feeling the back bling is gonna be interactive with the pickaxe, let's see. It definitely is. Check that out. She pulls it right out of that sheath. That's awesome. So this is a true katana. We've had many fake katanas in Fortnite before, but this is truly a katana. And look at how she swings it. I love that. That actually reminds me of when she lops one of the heads of the zombies off in the show. Just the way she's doing that form right there. Very, very nice. Let's see if there's a splash effect. There's not, but I just love the way she swings this. I could swing this all day. Isn't that awesome? So great pickaxe, great back bling there. Other than that, there's not much else to say. She's got the pink undershirt, and that's about it. It's a standard looking character. Here she is in the dark. Obviously nothing glows, nothing is animated. The katana has that gleam on the end, occasionally. Boy, that is very dark. Where did the moon go? All right, so here we go with the caped Michonne. I actually think I prefer this one over the original style just because you basically get the two-in-one back bling. Now, unlike Daryl, you can still clearly see the interaction between the pickaxe and the back bling. Remember with Daryl, his cape kind of blocked the interaction. Even though it wasn't with his back bling, it was with the skin itself. Just a nice touch with that cape and the back bling that overlays it, as well as the katana interacting with the back bling. Great character here with this Michonne skin. Now for the big question here, is this bundle worth 2,500 V-Bucks. So I guess it would depend on number one, if you know The Walking Dead, and number two, if you like it. If you have no idea what The Walking Dead is and you don't know either of these characters and you can't relate with them, I don't think I would buy both of these. I don't think I would buy the bundle at all. I think I would just do one or the other. And if I had to choose between these two, I would definitely pick Michonne because her pickaxe and her back bling are way, way better. Now, if you are a fan of The Walking Dead, I would definitely get the bundle. 2,500 for this is an absolute steal for what you get. The fact that they have this awesome bonus cape is really, really cool. I like this idea that you can equip another item on top of the back bling. Basically, you can run two back blings if you want. 
which is cool. So that's my final verdict. If you don't watch the show, I would just buy one of the skins and not the bundle. If you're a fan of The Walking Dead, I would definitely get this bundle. So here's hoping they bring more Walking Dead characters in the future. Give me Negan, please. Give me Lucille, his bat. Give me his jacket. Give me his fierce attitude. I want Negan. So that's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.